Hello guys, Plus with Sports. This is North Carolina weather video. This is the January 15th edition, 2018. Martin Luther King Day. Um, Monday. So here are the three big stories. First story, we'll take a look at the live look at the radar. And temperatures. Then, what about the snow chances again for Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday? And how much? How much I'm thinking now. This whole new day. And the warm-up on the way, and how warm will it get? All of that is coming up. First off, we know, let's look at the radar. Oh, crap. Oops. Get the same website, loveweatherradar.com. So, right now, um, look at each um, city, region. We got, we'll start with the mountains. Asheville. It's currently around 39, 40 degrees. It's kind of chilly up there, you know. It's still chilly, but it's actually colder actually in, in Winston Sam Greensboro and High Point area in Nashville than it is up in Nashville right now. That's actually kind of a surprise because generally the mountains, you know, are a lot colder than the rest of North Carolina. I'm cutting this video around 2:11 p.m. All right. Boone and Wiltsboro and Mount Airy sitting around 26 in the upper 20s to around 30. Well, Mount Airy sitting there. I didn't see Mount Airy. Mount Airy sitting around the freezing line. You know, I just said about Winston, Sam, Greensboro, High Point sitting around 32 in Asheville. The Charlotte area, our friends down the Charlotte area are sitting around in our Hickory area friends too are sitting around 36 to, 30, to around 40 degrees right now. Our friends over at the Raleigh Durham area and Chapel Hill area are sitting around 37 degrees this morning. 37 to 40 degrees, and that kind of thing. Up here near Danville, the border between North, North Carolina and Virginia. I'll just say Danville because, you know, it's one of our areas that we cover. They're about sitting around the freezing line, too. Um, Fayetteville sitting around the forty, the thirty-eight to forty degree line. Goldsboro sitting around thirty-seven to forty degrees. Down here at Jacksonville and Wilmington is sitting around forty to forty-two, forty-three. Greenville, Greenville sitting around thirty-seven, thirty-eight, about the, between the thirty-seven to forty degree mark. And Plymouth is sitting around 39. And then our friends over at Kate Kill Devil's Hills, you know, Kate Patters are sitting around 42, 4, between 38 and the 44 degree line. And it's currently clear. Here's our storm currently. It is hit. It's just now entering Tennessee. We got some heavier bands of snow. We're gonna have some rain mixing in early. I will say that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next um, big story. Go ahead and exit this. No, we don't need it anymore. This is the Nam 3KM. It's very good winter weather. Snowfall output. Output. I'm just gonna show you all the different snowfall outputs because we already know what's gonna happen. We got a good sense. It's going. It's going to come in. Mountains. I think it should start around about six o'clock p.m. It should start hitting the mountains. It's going to slow down. It won't start hitting the foothills and triad to around. It shouldn't start snowing till Tuesday. Um, between like nine and min between nine and midnight is when it should start snowing. Earlier in the western counties. Later in the eastern counties, and then a Raleigh air should get around tw between eleven and one o'clock, and then it should start and then it should stay for the tr for the triad to the beaches. The beaches should start getting around between three and four in the morning, and then it should stay around to about the mountains should ready to be done by around um, eight in the morning. Try to be done by 11, Raleigh should be done by 12, and the beaches should be done by 4 p.m. 
So let's go ahead. I'm just going to show you the snow file. I guess what y'all been waiting to see. This is the NAM model. These are all new runs. I haven't looked at them yet. Should be new runs. Gets across. We're just fast with it in the run. How about that? All right. It says the bullseye will be in the triad, especially the southern triad and Raleigh areas. And then everywhere else it is less when you get around it. Except for the mountains. The mountains have some bullish, bullish areas too. And according to the NAM model, one of the biggest um, Chatham, Alamance, Randolph, and Chatham, Alamance, Randolph, Montgomery counties are the big winners of the snow with the three to four inch totals. And Guilford, Forsyth, and Davidson have two inch. So does Raleigh, and then it goes out smaller from there. I'm gonna ask just one mile. It's not my forecast. I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. Now we don't need it. Make this quicker. This is which model is this? The European snowfall. This is weathermodels.com. Um, you have to pay money, but it's really worth it. Make sure to go check them out. It's a ten dollar fee per month, but it's worth it. You get all the models for the people, so the meteorologists see. Here comes the snow. It keeps a sweet spot over here near our Goldsboro friends, but it still gives a triad and know that you know Charlotte area a good one to two inches up to up to three inches possibly. And the raw air is you know same kind of deal. And again, that's just a for that's just a model. It's not my forecast. And then here we're gonna look at the GFS stone totals. Now the GFS is really slight still, but each model run is starting to get more moisture getting across. Remember last model run it didn't even show anything. Last time I saw it, I showed y'all this. Now it is showing about two inches near the triad, a little west, a little north of the triad, but not as far as the European, like Goldboro. All right, here's the actual done radar. Look, we zoom in here. Well. Zooming in on North Carolina. So, triad it shows about one to two. Goldsboro, north of Goldsboro, has up to five inches possibly in that little near the border. Near that Chapel Hill kind of area, little city of Chapel Hill, a little wet, pretty west of Chapel Hill, but still. Again, that's just a model on my forecast. Now, based off all that, this is my forecast. The bullseye area, I think, is going to be from Goldsboro to about um, Salisbury counties. I think that's going to be two to four inches with local areas up to five. Then the darkest blue, the dark blue around that area, I think, is going to get one to two inches up, possibly inches up to three inches. I should have said one to three inches, too, but I'm going to say one to two. Local areas up to three. Around that, light blue dusting to an inch. And the mountains, I know the, the models aren't that aggressive, except for the NAM. I, I agree with the NAM, and the mountains will get one to three inches, too, on this. Local areas at the four. Now, we can exit out of this. Don't save. Exit from that. And then I'm going to show you the warmth. So, we get out to pass this snowstorm this week, basically. This is Wednesday. Cold air. It's going to be cold, too. It's going to... With the snow, it's going not even going to be above freezing for a while. But once we hit a Friday, we have we have fifties returning again. Um, Saturday, this is the weekend, almost sixty mid mid to upper fifties. Then my Sunday, almost seventy. So warmth's coming, guys. Just keep hanging there, and the rest of January is looking warm. Alright, that's all the time I have. Please make, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys later. Good afternoon.